Hurricane Michael is packing a punch. We are now under a coastal flood warning, which means the water is being pushed way above normal levels. And our Dr. Brad Hoffman joins us live from North Beach with all the latest details. So Dr. Brad, how's it looking out there? Well, Sonia, Michael is sure packing a pretty big punch here in the coastal bend. Coastal bend, we have flood warnings all up and down the coastal bend. We're on North Beach near Fajitaville, and you can see pretty brisk current coming in. And let me show you, speaking of flood waters, you can see the water, it's receded a little bit now, but there is water all the way up to Fajitaville. And now, let's talk about North and South beaches at Padre National Island Seashore. Hey, if we could go to the video, let me tell you what I'm talking about. These beaches are closed at least until tomorrow. Coastal flooding is caused her by Hurricane Michael has since surf all the way up to the dunes. The park is still open. It's still possible to park at the visitor center and walk around the beach, but camping and driving on the beach is not possible due to tides. In other words, if you want to go swimming, folks, in the coastal bend here, not a good idea. Just don't do it. Park officials are also asking people not to go swimming because of undercurrents. Hey, what's an undercurrent? Well, if we can come back to me live, I'll show you. This is one of Newton's laws of action and reaction. The action is you can see all this water coming here. Well, then what happens? It's got to go back there. You can't see it going back there, and that's why it's called an undercurrent. The current goes underneath this water. Don't go swimming, folks, if you're visiting here or if you're here on vacation. Please do not go in these waters. I'm Dr. Brad Hoffman. Hey, we want you here safe. Have fun, but be safe. Let's send it back to the studio.